Good morning, Vivek. Hope you're having a great day. Here's your daily news briefing. Let's dive right in. First up, a story that's been making waves in the AI community. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, had some ambitious plans for OpenAI between 2015 and 2018. Musk explored merging OpenAI with Tesla, or even taking full control of the AI research company. He proposed majority equity, control over OpenAI's board, and taking on the CEO position. However, OpenAI felt this could conflict with their mission, leading to Musk's departure and his hint at creating a competitor focused on AI safety. Despite Musk's suggestion of a merger in 2018 as a funding path for Tesla, OpenAI has remained steadfastly independent. Moving over to India, the country is signaling a strong commitment to artificial intelligence. The Indian government has approved an investment of $1.2 billion in AI over the next five years. This move is set to fuel research and development efforts, aiming to bolster domestic AI innovation. Additionally, a groundbreaking step in education has been taken with IRIS, the nation's first AI-powered humanoid robot teacher, making its debut. Developed by Maker Labs, IRIS showcases complex capabilities including object manipulation, and the ability to engage students in interactive learning sessions. In the realm of AI startups, Inflection AI is stirring the pot with its new model, Inflection 2.5. The company is positioning it as a competitor to GPT-4, boasting significant reductions in training costs. Their free chatbot, Pi, has quickly amassed a user base of 6 million, highlighting the model's popularity and potential. Speaking of innovation, Hugging Face, known for its machine learning tools and as a chat GPT competitor, is stepping into the world of robotics. They've launched a new open source project, led by former Tesla AI scientist Remy Kadeen. This project aims to integrate AI technologies into low-cost robots, focusing on deep learning and embodied AI, pushing the boundaries of robotics and AI collaboration. Over at OpenNI, there's been a significant board expansion, welcoming back CEO Sam Altman along with three new members. This move addresses previous criticisms regarding the board's composition and aims to incorporate diverse perspectives in AI development. Shifting gears to the business segment, Victoria's Secret is facing a tough time with sales forecasts for 2024 significantly below expectations. This marks a third consecutive year of decline reflecting changing consumer preferences and the challenges of adapting in a rapidly evolving market. On a brighter note, the Indian rupee has reached a six-month high, showcasing strong performance among Asian currencies. Additionally, the Reserve Bank of India and Bank Indonesia have signed a memorandum of understanding to promote the use of local currencies, enhancing bilateral cooperation. In startup news, Techstars' $80 million advancing cities fund is facing challenges, with J.P. Morgan, the fund's primary backer, expressing concerns over undisclosed incidents. Meanwhile, Turo, the peer-to-peer -peer car rental platform, continues its IPO preparations despite a slowdown in growth. Generative AI startup EMA has raised $25 million in its first funding round, signaling continued investor interest in AI's transformative potential. And in the fintech sector, Vija Fintech has secured significant angel funding, underscoring India's thriving financial technology landscape. Turning our attention to agriculture, India and African nations are cultivating a win-win partnership. This collaboration focuses on sharing agricultural expertise to enhance food security and economic growth through a South-South cooperation model. Lastly, in honor of International Women's Day, Google Research is spotlighting AI tools designed to advance women's health worldwide. These tools aim to improve access to emergency obstetric care, prenatal ultrasounds, and support breast cancer detection. That wraps up today's episode of News Butler. It's clear that AI and global business developments are moving at an incredible pace, shaping our future in exciting ways.